don't have any water, so I'm just going to drink scotch. I'll be drunk for a second. Don't worry about it. Oh, I also can't sprint. So pretty out here. Oh, there's a source of water. Ah. Oh. No way, this isn't it. There's this. Arthur! Arthur? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while. I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, right. I'll, I'll come down. Um, I think I might be stuck, actually. <laughs> Welcome to the dump. Thanks. Stop cracking your damn knuckles? Oh, that was a subtitle from somebody who's, I think, just at the edge of the range where we can hear them. So where's this water? I think it's in there. Well, let's go inside the bunker. I wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left. I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The General keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the General's office? Any way you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Let's see that map you made. Moonshine recipe. Two bags of sugar, fire, water, etc. Uh. Only oh, sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. Oh, that's actually a real recipe? I thought it was a joke. What do you mean fire? How do you combine fire? Do you mean just to heat it up? <laughs> Look at that drawing. It looks like a child did it. Let's see what we can craft. T 
tea. Without tea, you could not have civilization. For a short time, decreases stamina drain when sprinting. Need pure water. I don't have any of that. And tea leaves and a teacup. That makes sense. Wait. It takes five teacups to make tea? Oh, uh, we're making five at a time. Okay. Whew, I was thinking, what? What are you doing with all five teacups to make one cup of tea? I don't see this recipe, though. It wasn't a recipe for tea. It's a recipe for some sort of sleep thing. I don't know. Whatever. Ooh, we got a bunch more skill points. Okay, well, I definitely want to spend it on... Notice footsteps from further away. What's this? Spankers, peepers, and jubilators take longer to detect you. Tech friendly. Oh, those must be tech things. Probably like floating camera thingies and whatnot. I want this preparation thing. With a little preparation, you can give someone a real wallop. Let's see. <laughs> Jesus. Arthur. <laughs> My god. <laughs> I almost don't even want to use it. It sounds terrifying. I think I can tell when it's charged up when my stamina meter goes down. If you look at it, it goes down a little bit and then stops. Uh. Uh. Yep, and it's only then that Arthur screams. Uh. Arthur's screaming like they're being tortured or something. It doesn't sound like a war scream, like a battle scream, like a running into battle scream. No. Ollie said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate. Yeah, that was this. Oh, hey. They got everything here. There's a cemetery, a bog, a distillery, armory. I'd love to go in there just to steal stuff. Another dump. Oh, it was jammed before. Kind of arbitrary, but I get it. Dump at your own risk if you must, but we do not like it. It's very passive-aggressive and yet still accepting. So we can see footsteps from further away. Wait, no, you don't hump whiskey. I found a loose bullet down in the mud the other day. Do you think it could still be good? Oh. Day for it, sir. Very good, sir. Right over, sir. Day, sir. Am I can Here we go, now I'm concealed. Who's there? What's that? Hmm. They look around a lot more aggressively than the other people that I've seen do. Like just the generic bandits or thugs or whatever, just kind of stare in one direction, but these look like they look around a bit. Gotcha. Please don't struggle. Jerry's in the house. Smoke him out. Ooh. Yeah, we're good. I've always liked you, actually. 
We're just unconscious. Don't worry about it. We just beat the hell out of him. We're fine. Corporal Bardolf. Private Weaver. Lee Enfield Rifle. What can I do with that? I don't... I don't think I've ever seen guns for any, like, trailers or whatever for this game. I, I don't know if shooting is really a thing. I don't think it is. I think it's melee only. Yeah, a rifle. Shame there's no ammunition for it. Moderate damage can cause bleeding. Heavy, because the bayonet. Speed is awful. Even worse than a shovel. Damage is significantly less than a shovel as well. I guess the, just, the good thing about it is that it can cause bleeding. Even when a weapon is listed as the slowest, it's still not slow. Can I not charge up an attack for this? No, I hold it down and it just goes anyway. Huh. There's the water. I don't know if I want to drink that. I guess it's clean. Yes, pick the air. Unlock its secrets. Throw this to draw people's attention away from where you are. Oh, darts get people's attention? Play record. 45 RPM record required. I guess I can find one. Alright. Here goes. Oh, we fell through because it's fake. Okay, mache. We took all the kids to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier mache. Oh, it's nighttime now. Paper mache and plywood tanks. Christ. We never rose up because of fake tanks. We gave them the kids because of fucking fake tanks. Have I not read these? Look at all those tanks. Where did I pick this up? Let's all go get killed. Well, let's start from here. Let's all go get killed. I don't know when I picked these up. Um, oh, it's just the journal for making quest progress. It's just our own journal. Ollie says the only way onto the bridge is from the Appleholm station in the parade district. Which means I've got to get to Appleholm first. Which means I've got to get to Maidenholm. Did I mention Ollie's a loony now? Keeps talking to some girl who isn't there. And he got sort of a shrine to her. Margaret, that's who he talks to. Sally and Percy and I went to school with a Margaret, uh, what's her name, didn't we? And she didn't get on the train, did she? Something terrible happened and no one would talk about it. Ollie's very cheery about us going to rob the Victory Memorial Camp. Or rather, him robbing it whilst his old army mates chase me around. Sounds like a lovely way to get bayoneted. I doubt very much anyone's cleaned up the barbed wire. Oh, and the tanks. Let us not forget the tanks. On the other hand, he's promised to help me get to the Britannia Bridge. So I might have to take him up on this offer. Can I trust him? Of course not. Did I mention he's a loony? On the other hand, what else have I got? Yeah, I really don't like the whole he's a loony thing. Look at all those tanks. Sally and I used to go and stare at them. I wonder if they were fun to drive. She wanted to be a rocket ship pilot. 
but I think a tank would have made her reasonably happy. The grown-ups tried very hard never to be somewhere they could see the tanks or the military camp, and it being out in the rubble, that wasn't too hard for them. I wonder why the germs left them behind. I mean, once they had the kids. Didn't they need the tanks because the Soviets were smashing them to pieces in the east? There's a very real chance I shall go and get myself killed. It's an odd sensation. On the one hand, I'm absolutely terrified. On the other hand, I haven't had an adventure since Sally fucked off. I used to think I'd run into her. How have I never run into her? It's been 14 years. I want her to explain to me how she could have ever done that. And I don't want to. I want to forget the whole horrible sordid thing and be the two musketeers again. I used to have a whole speech memorized. Or maybe she's already got a new musketeer. A girl like Sally makes new friends so easily. The lads across the street would literally stop talking and watch her go by. She always got a kick out of that. Oh Christ, this is not what I signed up for when I went off joy. All I wanted to do was get the hell out. I mean, to find Percy. Can't I bloody pick and choose what memories I get back? Well, if I get bayoneted to death, problem solved, so there's that. <laughs> I love the dry humor. <laughs> it's really great. So yeah, Sally's, I guess, a childhood friend we used to hang out with. Have great adventures with. I remember early on, really early on, I think just after we escaped from, was it the Garden District, Parade District, whatever district? Yeah, just after we escaped, I remember going into some dark, weird place and Arthur said something like, Oh, Sally would have loved this. And I wondered who Sally was. Ooh, I hear an electronic thing. What if I can go up there and like break the lights or something, you know? I guess my goal here is to turn off the power. I might as well just do that, huh? Yeah, up close you can see the paper. Good, I didn't want anybody to hear that. I'm just wondering if you could like destroy them or something, but nope. So if the light hits me, I think it's gonna set off an alarm. Probably with a couple seconds notice, that's usually how it goes. So, I probably shouldn't worry too much about, like, trying to secure the whole place. I mean, I guess I could, if I really wanted to, but... Man, if I'm going to do anything like that, then the first thing I should do is at least turn off the damn power, right? So let's just go for the quest. can even see the person up there operating it, actually. Hmm. Well, I definitely could take out the operator. But I suppose turning off the power would also do, wouldn't it? Damn, there's so many people. Can I just like, climb up there? I see a ladder partway up, but I don't know how to get there from the ground. Oh, there's so many things I want to loot. People patrol up here. Oh, I turned away. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Attention, all personnel. Patrols should be infiltrator. Shit, we got a live one, boys. More than the usual number of plague victims have been spotted there recently. Crowd bastard! Ten o'clock!
Attention all personnel. There is an intruder in the camp. Well personnel, report to your counter infiltration stations. This is not a drill. This won't take a minute. Do you think the alarm's ever gonna go off? Probably not, right? Oh. Ooh, I've got water now, so I don't have to get drunk. What are you dogging do? <laughs> Alright, thank god. But the alarm does stop. Oh no. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Holy shit. I did not expect just a group of people to come by. Attention all personnel. Very good. The cook has lost his wedding ring. If you find it in your food, please return it to the kitchen. Thank you. Oh no, I thought I was concealed, I wasn't. Who's on guard duty? There's a mole in the hole. I gotta set up the alarm again. Shit. Sorry to bother. No, they didn't set off the alarm. Good. Whew. Office. Is anybody home? No, but oh my god, that's the elephant's foot that they killed, isn't it? They took it as a trophy. There's a person just outside. I can probably walk, right? But I definitely shouldn't sprint. Guide to fitting in. Reduces all suspicion rates by a small amount. It is absolutely not in his desk. Why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> Just duct tape. Survivor? Oh, healing items give someone more health. not play the piano, I get someone's attention. Ooh. Ooh. Piano sheet music, never mind, we're gonna have to play the piano. There's something behind this bookcase, isn't there? Mm. I feel positive there's something that could open this. And what about this? Oh, I can't use that? No, but I can get up there. Vomit bomb, what the hell? Attention all personnel. 
fine linen. Tranquilizer darts. Oh, beautiful. Uh, let's check out what we have. One of those things, I don't even know what it was. What the heck was it? I don't know. I picked up something. I don't remember what it was, but I can't find it. Anyway. The vomit bomb. Who doesn't want to see a lot of people throwing up? Always hilarious. Causes all targets to vomit. Cannot attack during vomiting. Oh. That's super gross. That's really gross. Banger. Explosive device. Hurls shrapnel, wounding or killing people in its area of effect. Goes bang. Surprises people to death. Tranquilizer dart. Makes someone dreadfully tired for a... Oh, for a short while. Reduces a target's endurance for a short time. Target can attack and pursue less. That doesn't do what I thought it did. It doesn't make them go to sleep? Hmm. I still want to test it out. Note, chord, note. What a jolly tune. Maybe I should play it. Piano music, eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. So that's all it is. Note, chord, note. Well, aren't I clever clogs? A hatch. <gasps> if it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. Oh, I have to sabotage the generator first. Fair enough. Patrols should be particularly careful in the forest. More than the usual number of plague victims have been spotted there recently. Power sheds all the way across the base. All right. Oh, do I, st I still have my custom marker here? Let me get rid of that. No, you don't. No, come on. Come more over here. They didn't hear that second one. Oh, please just lie down. I don't know if they're concealed. Get more in there. Yeah, it's good. Oh, there's somebody right there. Should I try a trink dart? It does make it so they don't, uh, they can't do anything for like five or so seconds. And then I guess after that, their endurance is significantly lowered. But for that first five seconds when they can't do anything, I couldn't do a takedown on them. So yeah, this doesn't do what I thought it maybe did. This seems more, this seems better at just making somebody not able to catch up with you. So if you get caught, somebody starts running at you, just throw one and then run away. Or maybe uh, you could also just use it before doing combat as well. So you can just beat them up while I can't do anything or can't do much.
<laughs> We're just doing push-ups. Oh, that's a lot of people. Let's not mess with them. Happy Hamlet, no one dies. I just watched Hamlet, actually. A, a video form of the play. A lot of people die. Spoiler. Almost there. Oh, look at that. That's so cool looking. Some of the latrines oh. are in the process of being moved from the old holes to brand new holes. If you see a latrine somewhere you're not used to, please make sure it is actually over a hole. For reasons I should Armory explain. Over there. They just said something funny about latrines, but I didn't catch the whole thing. Let's lock it. I feel like I have so many vomit bombs that I should use one. Okay, it's only three, but I just want to use one. I'm worried when I turn off the power, people are going to come flooding here to figure out what's going on. So let's loot this place completely first. Short spike? That's the thing I got before that I couldn't find. The heck is it? It's not a weapon, which is what it sounds like. Oh, there it is. It's under gadgets. Shorts out control boxes for good. Used on a control box to permanently disable the trap it controls. Oh, I don't think I've even found a control box before. I don't think I need to craft anything, do I? Nah. Oh, I can make antiseptic because I have pure water. Can be useful on a bandage. Okay, let's flip the switches. What? Attention all what? Right now. Here goes. It is time to paint the tap. Attention! Oh, for fuck's sake, Ollie. He knew it was alarm, didn't he? I bet he bloody knew! How do I get out of here? 
I'm not gonna be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general secret hatch. That's my way out. Yep. It's too bad the alarms still have power, but it makes sense. Of course they do. I'm actually gonna ignore the armory for now too. I'm gonna come back here. Hurt a bit. It's nothing <sighs> personal. The lights in the towers are out. Oh, it's the training grounds. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Let's not go that way. Although I am tempted to throw a vomit bomb there. happening when character th <laughs> the character there has like their arms crossed i think as an animation but they didn't come out of it when they went to vomit so they're just like a statue vomiting Please don't make a fuss. Put that back! <gasps> that is so gross. I just wanted to see how it would work and would it allow me to knock him out, and it does. Yeah, this person's animation is totally broken. That was fun. I'm unfortunately out of them, though. I'm not gonna take another Lee Enfield rifle. Those things are heavy. Can they break down doors? I don't know. I'm going. Papier mache tanks. Newspaper and fucking glue. What? <sighs> now if I can make it back to Wally alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie, that won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? So now I have an easy way back inside anytime I want, huh? Doesn't seem to be marked on the map, though. Requires General Bing's escape hatch key. Oh. Huh. Okay. Anyway, supposed to go all the way back to the train station. But for now, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm either going to explore more of this military base right now, or just go straight to Ollie. I'm not sure which.